the special agents mrs g back again with some more when you find it underline it practice okay we'll be doing some practice in class and some people are forgetting to find it and underline it we can't do that special agents we've got to use what we've been taught because i promise you it will help as always you can read pause the video and have a read or you can let me read it to you and we can do it together just don't forget these tips are for special agents only don't tell everybody what you learn here are you ready okay lords and ladies a castle usually belonged to a rich lord he lived in the castle with his family his wife was called a lady their children had their own garden to play in and lots of servants to do things for them knights knights were important men who worked for the lord they, they were skilled fighters who kept the land safe from robbers and enemies number eight who did most castles belong to tick one jesters knights lords and servants so we're going to go and find out about castles and who they belong to so straight away i can see that the word castle is in this part of the text now i can't see the word belong but i can see the word belonged to so i'm going to go ahead and read that and see if it gives me one of those answers I'm going to underline it in the text in case i forget a castle usually belonged to a rich lord so castles usually belong to lords don't let the plural fool you. The answer is still there. Well done. Jesters. A jester was there to amuse the lords and ladies. He did this by singing, dancing, telling stories or even juggling. Servants. The servants in a castle often worked from early in the morning to late at night. They did many important jobs such as cooking, cleaning and washing. They also cared for the children and looked after the gardens. Number 11. When did the servants work? So we've got to check that we're reading the servants. Okay, so I can't see the word start. I've had a quick scan there. So let's look at the word work. Where does it tell us about the servants working? Okay, underline that. The servants in a castle often worked from early in the morning to late at night. So when did the servants start work? That's it, early in the morning. Well spotted, super readers. I'm holding on to giant's ears as we stride along the street, shouting down at people, Hey, mind my giant's feet. We're ducking down through doorways. We're walking over walls. I'm safe as houses way up here. My giant never falls. Number 10. What is the child holding on to? We can find and underline that phrase and we will definitely get the answer. No guessing here. We are special agents. When we find it, underline it. Let's go and look for holding on to. I bet you've spotted that straight away. I'm holding on to giant's ears. So all you need to write there is giant's ears. Well done, special agent readers. World of water. Water is important to life. Plants and animals need it to grow. We use water to drink, cook and clean. A large part of the earth is covered in water. 15. Why is water so important? Let's go and find and underline the word important. Okay, so it's important to life. Okay, plants and animals need it to grow. I think that's quite important. So I'm going to write that as my answer. Plants and animals need it to grow. You could have also said that we use water for lots of things such as drinking, cooking and cleaning. Okay, well done. It isn't fair, said William. Everyone else at school has wobbly teeth stories. Sammy swallowed his, Rose's fell down the toilet, and Leo's flew out when he scored a goal. Number one, what happened to Sammy's tooth? It fell down the toilet, he swallowed it, it flew out, he kicked it. So we're looking for Sammy, the name Sammy. Let's go and look and scan and skim and find and underline the name Sammy. We're not going to guess, we're going to find it underline it we are special agent readers we can do this have you spotted sammy there it is sammy swallowed his so what happened to sammy's tooth he swallowed it fantastic if you beat mrs g to that answer how teeth grow from the time that babies are born to when they grow up they will have two sets of teeth teeth are not ready to work when a baby is born without teeth a person could not chew properly Teeth are very important for talking. Your teeth work with your tongue and lips to help you say sounds. Practice questions A. How many sets of teeth will a person have in their life lifetime? 
Now, you might know the answer, but a good special agent should find and underline it. Let's go and find the words sets of teeth in the text and just double check that the answer is what we think it is. That's where it says sets of teeth. How many sets of teeth will we have? Two. You could just put the number word two. Well done. Food. Crocodiles do not need to feed often. Some crocodiles only eat twice a year. Crocodiles do not chew their food. They tear off large chunks and swallow them whole. Stones have been found in the stomachs of crocodiles. The stones help the crocodiles to break up the food. 25. How often do crocodiles eat? Let's go and find and underline the word eat. Scan and skim. There it is. And let's read that sentence and see if we can find the answer. Some crocodiles only eat twice a year. Did you see that? Twice a year. So how often do crocodiles eat? Twice a year. I'd like to take this opportunity to say thank you for you all to coming and sharing my training with me. I know you're going to be amazing special agents. You've got this. Leave me a like if you've loved training to be a special agent reader and I'll see you soon.